All right, hey guys, it's Magfed Stretch. I'm bringing you a short video today. I just received this ADN T25 uh, drum mag in the mail from ADN. Um, real excited. I ordered this a long time ago and I'd actually kind of forgotten about it. And then it showed up in the mail today. Um, so as you can see, this is a uh, Tipex uh, Zeta uh, True Feed compatible mag. Uh, you've got one follower here. It's a pretty neat design. It's very simple. So you're just gonna cram your first strikes or round ball uh, just straight down while gently pressing this, and it catches there really well. So it's actually pretty darn easy to load. As far as I'm concerned. You've got a very reliable latch there to catch the rounds, so that's nice. Um, I'm not going to load too many here just because I actually don't have anything that I can shoot this out of currently. Um, but we'll get it loaded down so you can see the rounds getting all the way down in there. You can see we got a few there. And the other part of this system that I think's Pretty interesting I did a brief read on the manuals you've got magnets here and these magnets actually catch along the inside of this and that's kind of your kind of your catch system there to release uh, to hold tension when you pull the mag out so as you can see we're getting them loaded in there uh, the channel feels really good really easy to load you got some extra hardware here uh, some extra screws I assume so that you can attach this uh, I know he had three options here. Uh, I think he had this plastic one. I know there was maybe an aluminum one and a third option, or maybe it was just the two. Um, so my plan for this is going to be uh, to run it probably with this, uh, just because I had this lever changer sitting around to not uh, waste as many CO2. And with something like this, you know, have to get the right mag well. But um, this creates a, you know, a potential secondary situation where I only need to take one mag. And 25 rounds is about how many I'm gonna get off of my CO2 anyways. So I know when I finish this, I'll be done with my CO2. I think it'll be a pretty good system. I'm probably gonna use only round ball with that though. So he does include a second spring here. Uh, this spring you'll switch out the bottom spring here and what that does is it allows you to uh, have a little less tension there on the round ball so you don't cause any deformations uh, deformities deformations I mean, uh, the other plan the original plan when I purchased this uh, some time ago was to figure out how to get it on my SSR um, 25 rounds in an SSR is about a 10 minute game for me. I don't often go through more rounds than that. So the idea of being able to basically run uh, rigless uh, is really cool for me. But we'll see, I gotta talk to Bill or maybe Brent Masada or you know the couple of the, the gurus out there that make things happen. Maybe Chris Wagner. Hmm. A uh, very small thing here. You've got a little split going on. Um, maybe I can tighten this screw down to alleviate that. I'm not too concerned about it though because the way that this is designed, this is really gonna hold that in. Uh, there's like a, a little notch here. So I'm not really concerned at all about any of my rounds getting out uh, due to this. It could be more of an issue with the round ball because it's round and maybe it has a tendency to slide past stuff a little bit easier. But as far as this setup right here, I'm not concerned about it at all. Um, guys, the build quality is really good. I think the price was about 80 bucks. Uh, I like that. I know it's expensive, 80 bucks, but these kinds of mags have a really nice place uh, in certain loadouts when you don't uh, need to carry a bunch of mags on and you just need one high capacity mag. For a Tipex user, for an SMG user, I think this would be a really, really good option. Um, 
and I'm definitely going to get a, um, I think my buddy has a Chad Bob lower so that I can try to run this in there and see how it goes. I'm super stoked. I think you guys should check this product out. ADN's had a pretty great track record as far as I'm concerned. And uh, he's Scott's a really cool guy too. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys are having a great Friday. I know I am. I'm going to go think about shooting this. Uh, maybe I'll shoot something else out of frustration, but hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Definitely check out ADN Paintball, uh, this ADNT25 magazine. So have a great one, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Stretch out.